you very much, uh, Julio and David, for organizing this uh, workshop, and thank you for inviting me. Um, this is a quite uh, long uh, title. I'm going to, my plan is uh, the following. Uh, I'll try to um, discuss uh, and present some uh, results on thermoelectric uh, effects in uh, edge states of uh, two-dimensional uh, topological systems, uh, in particular uh, uh, the quantum hole effect and the quantum uh, spin uh, hole effect. And uh, if there is enough uh, time, I also go in, I'm also going. I'm also going to mention something about uh, dissipation of energy in driven uh, quantum dots. Taking into account the uh, composition of the audience, I will try to cover in both uh, cases, uh, also not only the, the role of uh, transport, but also the role of uh, many body interactions. Um, so uh, thermoelectricity was very nicely covered uh, today. Uh, in the tutorial uh, by Heiner Linke, but let me uh, make a short uh, summary. Um, and thermoelectricity deals precisely on the issue of uh, heat uh, to work uh, conversion in the DC regime. And uh, it can be uh, formulated from the theoretical point of view in this uh, very easy setup where we have two reservoirs and a conductor in the middle. And at the two reservoirs, we impose a difference in the chemical potential and also a difference of temperature. And uh, in this way, we generate uh, both uh, a charge and a heat uh, currents between the reservoir and through the conductor. This uh, uh, flux, these two combined fluxes um, are uh, take place in a way that uh, these two fundamental uh, conservation uh, laws are fulfilled, namely the conservation of the charge, all the charge leaving the left reservoir has to be injected into the right one. And uh, the, same, uh, the same happens uh, with the energy. And uh, in the linear response regime, this theory is very simple and uh, appealing. Uh, the linear response regime is basically formulated in uh, thinking that there is a linear uh, relation between the two relevant uh, fluxes, in our case the heat and the charge, and the affinities, basically the difference of chemical potential and difference uh, of temperature, and these are uh, on Sager or transport uh, coefficients. Since this relation is linear, all these coefficients are uh, related to uh, susceptibility or response uh, functions evaluated in the equilibrium system and for this reason they obey micro reversibility and uh, for this reason this um, uh, as they obey micro reversibility they fulfill this uh, on Sager uh, relation. Uh, the um, flow of this uh, to quantities, charge and energy must be, and all this description must be in agreement with the second law of thermodynamics. And this is expressed by the fact that the rate of the entropy production in all this process should be equal to the uh, uh, rate of gen uh, heat generation in the uh, left reservoir divided by the temperature of the left reservoir plus the same thing for the right uh, reservoir. In the case of electrons, the relation between uh, heat and uh, energy is by also subtracting the so-called uh, convective term, which is uh, the chemical potential times the, uh, the, the flux of uh, particles. If we uh, plug this uh, linear uh, <coughs> relation assumed for the fluxes uh, uh, as a function of the affinities, we have this bilinear uh, relation for the rate of entropy production. And in order to be positive, we need these coefficients to be positive and also this other uh, um, combination to be uh, satisfied. 
in addition to the uh, on uh, relations. Um, we can uh, define uh, efficiencies. The efficiency is always what we want to obtain divided what we have to invest in the case of DC heat engines. What we want to obtain is uh, electrical power. What we have to invest is uh, heat. And uh, this, uh, due to the second principle, has to be smaller than the uh, Carnot uh, efficiency. Uh, in the case of um, heat pump or refrigerator, is the inverse. We extract heat and we have to invest electrical power. And in this case, this in order to satisfy the second principle has to be smaller than the uh, coefficient, uh, the Carnot coefficient uh, of performance. If we fix the difference uh, of uh, temperature, we can, it can be proved that the maximum efficiency is uh, obtained, um, is uh, actually given uh, by uh, this expression, which is parameterized by the so-called figure of merit, which is a combination of the transport coefficients uh, previously uh, defined. We see that the figure of merit has to be large in order to be close to the Carnot efficiency. And uh, all these uh, things are nicely explained uh, in this uh, re review by uh, Giuliano, Giulio, uh, Keiji Saito and Robert uh, Whitney. And uh, it is also clearly stated that uh, in order to achieve some competitive performance of these um, um, of these uh, machines, uh, these uh, thermal machines, we need this figure of merit to be of the order of three. Uh, as uh, also uh, Heiner Linke mentioned today, this is not so easy uh, to achieve. And uh, there is a big interest. Uh, also, Heiner uh, commented uh, today about that in explore all this uh, behavior uh, in the uh, quantum regime. And the paradigmatic uh, system to explore quantum regime is the quantum hole effect. The quantum hole effect, as we know, is uh, basically uh, performing, is uh, produced basically performing this uh, usual textbook. Um, um, a device, uh, experiment uh, where we put a system uh, in the presence of a magnetic field and we apply some, also some electric uh, field. But uh, this, if this experiment is uh, done at a very low temperature and in uh, structures, uh, these semiconductor structures that effectively behave like a, two-dimensional elect uh, electron gases, um, there it is um, um, achieved the so-called quantum uh, hole regime, which is characterized by these uh, plateaus in the uh, resistance as a function of the magnetic field, um, in which the, uh, and, and these uh, plateaus take place at some uh, particular so-called uh, filling factors. And we have integer numbers for these uh, filling factors and also they can be some uh, fractions, some very particular uh, fractions. But uh, what is, uh, and uh, this, the existence of these plateaus is closely related to the fact that uh, under these conditions the two-dimensional electron gas has these uh, Landau uh, levels. But what is important for our purposes is that uh, in addition to these Landau levels, which are uh, levels which live in the bulk, this system has these uh, so-called um, edge states. And the edge states are, uh, this system is actually the first uh, example uh, known uh, of a topological system. And these edge states are precisely a consequence of the topological nature of the quantum Hall effect. And they have the peculiarity of being perfectly one-dimensional and um, also uh, are peculiar in the sense that uh, the electrons propagate there in 
uh, chiral uh, channels, not only one dimensional, but also uh, chirally, um, which means that they basically don't suffer from um, backscattering processes. So in the integer case, these uh, channels, one dimensional channels, can be quite um, well represented by these uh, um, chiral uh, fermions, chiral, uh, chiral uh, non interacting uh, fermions, but in the fractional case, uh, many body interactions also play a role, in particular the Coulomb uh, interaction play a role, and the system is uh, much uh, more uh, complicated. And um, for this reason, the, uh, the um, um, uh, uh, chiral uh, edge states, the system also hosts uh, chiral edge states, but the nature is uh, much more complicated. Uh, the way to, in, at least in this uh, particular uh, filling uh, fractions, uh, which are known with the name of the Laughlin uh, series, where the filling factor is 1 over m, and m is some uh, odd uh, number, um, the uh, properties of the edge states are quite well described by this uh, bosonic um, a Hamiltonian for a chiral a bosons, where what enters here is precisely the a filling fraction. The translation between a phonons, a, a, sorry, between a, this, this a bosonic chiral bosonic modes and the fermions is given a, by these a, expressions, a, by this expression and the, the uh, what enters here is again uh, the filling uh, fraction, and these uh, chiral bosons obey this uh, so called Cac Moody uh, <coughs> commutation relation. So they are particular uh, bosonic uh, modes. For uh, details, uh, there are already uh, books. One is uh, precisely uh, uh, written by Thierry uh, Chiamarchi in the audience on how to uh, properly express the, the relation between uh, fermions and uh, bosons. Um, the charge uh, transport, uh, I'm going to talk about in particular charge transport when we generate uh, tunneling contacts in these uh, edge states. And uh, this is uh, nicely uh, explained in this review uh, work by Christian uh, Gladly. Um, there are uh, several works, but there are in particular these uh, two uh, seminal uh, ones where uh, it is uh, shown these are experimental uh, works which uh, uh, demonstrate uh, theoretical uh, predictions uh, in which uh, it is uh, shown that when there is some tunneling contact between two edge states uh, within the Laughlin series I introduced uh, previously, the conductance uh, behaves uh, as a power law of the temperature. This means that there is a strongly depression, a strongly uh, reduction of the uh, conductance uh, and what enters in this power law is the M I defined uh, previously, which is the inverse of the uh, filling factor. And uh, the, this uh, power law behavior differs uh, a lot. Um, actually, not the nature of the uh, power law, but the exponent differs uh, depending on the nature of the, uh, of the uh, contact. If the contact is done between two broken, two well separated uh, uh, point, uh, uh, edge states, we have to extract an electron from the left and put it into the right, and it behaves in this way. While if the contact is uh, soft enough, that enables the transport of uh, quasi particles between the upper edge states to the lower <laughs> one. The uh, system behaves as if what tunnels here is a quasi-particle with an effective uh, charge, which is E over M. 
And um, there are quite recently uh, people began uh, to uh, quite recently people began to explore a uh, thermal transport in the quantum uh, hall regime. And there are some uh, interesting uh, experimental works which I mentioned in what follows. The, I think that the first one was uh, this performed in the integer uh, quantum uh, hole regime in the feeling factor with feeling factor nu equal one. Uh, and the experiment was devoted to test the, that not only the charge but also the heat uh, propagates uh, chirally along these edge states. In this uh, experiment, the edge state is heated at some point and it is the, the heat flow is sensed at two different points. What is uh, um, uh, read it? read uh, in, in uh, this experiment is that effectively propagates uh, downstream uh, along with the charge. Um, there are some uh, filling, filling factors which are much more complicated than the uh, Laughlin uh, filling factors I mentioned uh, before. For instance, this uh, 2 over 3rd, there are also another which is uh, 5 over 2. And in these uh, filling factors, uh, the quantum hole also uh, contains these uh, peculiar edge states, but they have a much more complex uh, structure. They come in this filling factor, for instance, in pairs in which charge propagate in one, uh, with one chirality and it comes with another mode uh, in which only heat but no charge uh, is uh, uh, propagated. And um, precisely in order to sense the existence of these uh, uh, neutral contra propagating modes, uh, there are um, only, I mean, this, uh, uh, the way to sense uh, these uh, modes is only by recourse of uh, noise experiments or by heat because they propagate uh, energy. And uh, precisely this uh, experiment uh, has been performed in order to sense and to detect and confirm the existence of this uh, counter propagating uh, 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 chargeless uh, neutral uh, mode. Uh, another nice experiment, this one performed in the uh, integer uh, case in filling factors 1 uh, and 2, is this one. The goal here is, was to sense the uh, behavior of uh, the one channel uh, thermal conductance and precisely to confirm that uh, it, is, it behaves as a linear function of the temperature with with um, uh, with a factor with a factor here which depends on this uh, uh, universal uh, 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 constants uh, and this quantity is precisely uh, named the uh, quantum uh, of uh, thermal uh, conductance and in electrons this uh, quantum of thermal conductance was uh, precisely uh, verified and measured uh, in the uh, quantum uh, Hall effect. There are some more recent uh, experiments in the fractional uh, case, but I think they are not uh, so clear as uh, this uh, one. Um, okay, some uh, theoretical uh, work before going to uh, elect the thermoelectricity. Uh, that I would mention is this one. In this case, uh, it, is, uh, men, uh, it is formulated in a more uh, general uh, way. It is formulated as uh, the energy partitioning of uh, the entangling currents into Latin, Latin chair liquids. But uh, the setup is itself is uh, basically a couple of H states of uh, a, a chiral Latin chair liquids corresponding to um, um, H states of the um, quantum uh, Hall effect. And um, the conclusion of this work is that 
in the through a tunneling uh, contact, a charge and energy um, fractionalize and behaves uh, quite differently. Um, when we go from one reservoir, which is a Fermi liquid, to another reservoir, which is a, a Lattinger liquid, which can be composed of a couple of uh, a quantum uh, a whole edge states, for instance. Um, what about uh, thermoelectricity in particular in quantum uh, hole structures? Well, as was uh, mentioned uh, today by Heiner, in order to have thermoelectricity, we need to have an energy filter. This is a necessary uh, condition. Otherwise, we don't have uh, thermoelectricity. And uh, to achieve this, we need a, the particle uh, hole uh, symmetry breaking, some element introducing particle hole symmetry breaking in our system. And uh, I borrowed this uh, sketch uh, from the, the review by uh, Julio and uh, uh, co-workers, where this is precisely uh, illustrated. Heiner also uh, illustrated uh, it uh, today. If we don't put here an energy filter, we cannot achieve the conversion of uh, heat. We can transport heat from this place to this other, but this uh, the, the charge uh, current will be uh, zero unless we somehow break a particle hole a symmetry in order to get more electrons than holes flowing through the uh, energy filter. And um, how can we do um, this? Uh, well, um, in, if we put a, a quantum a hole bar, uh, without any uh, constrictions, we won't uh, have a thermoelectricity uh, because uh, this system will be a particle hole uh, symmetric. But we can have thermoelectricity if we put quantum dots in the middle of the contact between two, uh, uh, two quantum hole edge states. And precisely this effect was uh, explored in this uh, work uh, it was also mentioned in the previous uh, talk by uh, Jigal Meyer, um, where uh, thermoelectricity uh, or thermoelectric effects in this uh, device uh, were uh, um, thermoelectric effects in this uh, device were uh, used in order to sense this uh, neutral or some indications of the existence of the, these uh, neutral modes in this. Uh, peculiar uh, uh, fractional uh, cases of two-thirds or uh, two, uh, five over two. Uh, other works on thermoelectricity uh, in uh, the quantum uh, hole effect are these uh, two. One is in the integer case. We have here also one of the authors of the work. Uh, the motivation uh, here, I mean, in this case, also, particle hole symmetry breaking was introduced uh, in these uh, constrictions uh, here, but uh, in addition, uh, it was played with the three terminal, uh, three terminal effects in order to exploit the chirality. If we put a simple bar, we cannot exploit the chirality of the quantum uh, hole effect because we have one channel in one direction, the other channel in the other direction. So in order to exploit the fact that we have chiral effects, we have to add here a third terminal. And this was more or less the uh, take home mes message of uh, this uh, work. Um, in the uh, case of the Laughlin uh, series, um, where the system behaves as a, a chiral Latincher uh, liquid, um, we have uh, this work in which particle uh, hole symmetry was broken by recourse of introducing several uh, point contacts. And in this case, the interference effects be, uh, due to the existence of uh, several point contacts effectively breaks uh, particle hole symmetry and there, there is some uh, thermoelectric uh, signal. So I tell you, 
uh, recent uh, result uh, we have done in this uh, context. Um, and uh, it consists in the following. We have considered a, a quantum hall a system within the Laughlin uh, series, in which case each of these edge states behaves as a chiral uh, Latin chair liquid. And we put the quantum hole effect, uh, um, uh, we put uh, here a quantum dot uh, in the middle. The quantum dot here, as I mentioned before, plays the role of uh, introducing <coughs> some particle hole symmetry breaking and acting as a, an energy filter. This um, quantum dot is assumed to have uh, one or several levels which can be manipulated with this uh, gate uh, voltage. Um, what, uh, uh, so here is a, a, a full um, presentation of the model Hamiltonians of all the setup. We have here the two uh, reservoirs at different uh, temperatures, different uh, chemical uh, potential, but uh, they, they basically act as boundary uh, conditions for this uh, a quantum hole edge states, they basically impose the uh, chemical potential at the, at the temperature uh, at the left and at the right. And everything happens through this uh, tunneling contacts uh, uh, and through the, the quantum dot uh, in the middle. So our model for the quantum dot is simply a set of uh, resonances and our model for the uh, Edge states is uh, a, a, a Latin char liquid uh, described in terms of uh, this uh, bosonic uh, excitations and uh, it is connected to the uh, fermionic, to the, the, the fermions uh, uh, in, this, uh, uh, in this way. Um, how to calculate um, um, so in, in order to analyze the thermoelectric effect, we need to compute the uh, charge current along with the energy currents. And we have done this uh, by recourse uh, to the uh, green uh, function uh, formalism. Um, so these are exact expressions of the charge and the heat uh, and the energy current in terms of green functions. And then we have to calculate uh, uh, these uh, green functions. Uh, this is um, nowadays a more or less a standard a technique and um, details on how to proceed and how to combine uh, this uh, calculation within the uh, bosonization um, uh, representation and uh, within um, and also implementing a perturbation theory is um, nicely covered in this uh, 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 re review, in these lectures uh, by Thierry Martin uh, presented at uh, Le Houch uh, School. Um, so this problem cannot be solved uh, exactly, and uh, so we have to rely on perturbation theory. So uh, we have uh, done perturbation uh, theory, and um, the, this is uh, the, the result. I, I'll show you uh, another result. So this, this is basically the sketch. We have here the, the expression, the general ex expression for the uh, uh, um, charge current in this case. And this is expressed in terms of the, these uh, Green's functions. This, this is the Green's function for the chiral Latin chair liquid, which is decoupled from the rest. And this is uh, the uh, Green's function for the quantum dot uh, <coughs> coupled to the um, uh, two edge states. Um, the, it turns out that collecting all the terms, the final expressions for the charge and the energy currents are quite uh, simple at the end uh, of the day. They can be also as, as usual expressed in terms of these integrals where we have in the integrand the difference of the Fermi functions indicating on containing the information 
of the difference of the uh, chemical potentials, also the difference uh, of the temperature, and some transmission function which depends on the um, density of states of the quantum dot and the uh, two uh, edge states uh, which are Latin shell liquids. Interestingly, and unlike the case of um, non-interacting um, uh, systems, this uh, density of states uh, depends on the uh, temperature of each of the, the two uh, reservoirs. So the temperature is also the, the not only appear here in the difference of the Fermi functions, but also in the uh, transmission function. Uh, to recover the thermoelectric uh, description I presented at the beginning uh, of the talk, we uh, perform linear, um, I mean expansions up to linear order uh, in delta t and uh, delta mu from uh, these expressions and in this way we get the uh, different uh, transport uh, coefficients. Given the different transport coefficients, we can calculate the Seabed coefficient, the Peltier coefficients. These are particular uh, combinations. Also, the, um, the, um, uh, heat, uh, conductive, the heat conductance and the uh, uh, charge uh, conductance. And um, these are the uh, results for the um, for the charge uh, conductance, heat conductance, and the Seebeck uh, coefficient. As I mentioned uh, before, the um, charge conductance is strongly suppressed in the uh, fractional case due to the fact that we have an interacting system. It is suppressed following a power law in the temperature. So this is a fixed temperature, but if we compare with the non-interacting case, what we find is a strong uh, suppression. Uh, the same thing happens with the thermal conductance, although the way in, is, uh, in which they suppress is quite different. I am going to mention a bit more in a while. But uh, what is um, and was uh, quite unexpected uh, to us was that the um, Seabed coefficient is not uh, depressed, but it is enhanced. And this is nice, this is good news for uh, thermoelectricity. If we uh, co use uh, these uh, coefficients to evaluate the figure of merit, uh, we have these uh, plots. These plots were done with some arbitrary units, but if we put numbers to these uh, parameters, we find that at um, quite uh, low uh, temperatures, we can achieve uh, quite uh, high um, uh, uh, values of the figure uh, of merit. And of course, the behavior gets uh, better uh, and improves as, as we go to a higher uh, temperatures. How to understand this? This uh, behavior can be traced back precisely to the behavior of the density of states of the uh, Latin shell liquid. I showed you this complicated expression here for the density of states, but uh, at a low temperature which dominates is this power law in the temperature here. So basically at a low temperature this um, come on. oops. Uh, basically, oops. at a low temperature, uh, this um, density of states can be um, um, quite nicely approximated by this uh, power loss in the temperature, and this fixes this uh, peculiar behavior for the different uh, transport uh, coefficients. And um, due to uh, this fact, um, it is a quite uh, easy uh, calculation. We can show that the, in particular the Seebeck uh, coefficient has this, uh, de uh, depends on, on this uh, prefactor here, and this prefactor is precisely the sum of the m which enters the two uh, filling uh, factors. So the improvement is not an exponential improvement, it's just uh, an uh, 
is improved by a factor, but as this m increases, the CBET coefficient uh, increases, and this was uh, quite uh, unexpected. So um, uh, we were encouraged by these uh, results, and we decided to uh, examine um, what happens in other systems uh, supporting uh, edge uh, states, and these are uh, precisely the two-dimensional um, topological insulators, uh, which um, 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 where the, the quantum spin uh, hole effect uh, takes uh, place. Uh, as these uh, systems are um, time reversal invariant, the edge states come into Kramer's pairs, here the spin plays a very important role. Each uh, edge contains a, a, a pair of edge states. Uh, these um, are helical uh, in the sense that the chirality is attached to the, uh, to the spin. And we have, uh, the, as in, in this uh, sketch, one spin species uh, circulating in one, uh, with one chirality and the opposite uh, spin species circulating uh, with the opposite uh, chirality. If these uh, edge states uh, were uh, interacting, they would also uh, behave as uh, Latin chair uh, liquids. Some uh, previous works on thermoelectricity um, in the quantum uh, spin hole effect uh, are uh, these uh, ones, they are all uh, theoretical works. This uh, one from the, um, the, the group of uh, Würzburg um, started from a, a calculation taking into account um, a, a sort of first principle model for the um, a topological 2D topological uh, insulator and they show uh, mainly numerical evidence that uh, the spin, uh, that uh, also not only the charge, but also the spin propagates uh, in the uh, chira, in the helical edge states, and uh, they discuss the fact that the spin, not only charge in these uh, devices, but also spin, of course, uh, plays a role. And uh, in particular, they analyze this uh, cross structure where you impose uh, the difference of temperature in one direction and you can generate a, a spin current in the cross uh, direction. Another work was uh, by uh, David and uh, Rosa and collaborators um, where they explored um, non-linear effects uh, in this uh, configuration. Um, and um, finally, a an, uh, more recent uh, work uh, is uh, this one by the group uh, of uh, Genova, uh, in which some interferometer uh, is uh, considered um, to generate uh, spin uh, currents as a response to um, a difference of temperature. And as I mentioned before, this sort of interferometers uh, break, uh, break um, uh, particle hole symmetry, so there is some thermoelectric uh, response uh, there. So our work still to be uh, submitted um, consists uh, in the following. Uh, we consider the couple of um, edge uh, states, uh, the pair of uh, edge states with the two uh, different uh, helicities. We have um, here uh, electrons with the, let's say, uh, here, uh, up spin moving to the left, uh, down spins uh, moving uh, to the right, and we couple with a, a quantum dot uh, through a tunneling, a couple, coupling, uh, assuming that the quantum dot is uh, strongly coupled to another reservoir. In this uh, setup, we can 
uh, impose a difference of temperature uh, here and also a difference uh, in the uh, uh, chemical uh, potential and generate a, a current. This system will behave as an interacting, as a, a, a Latin chair, a liquid, and if we add some magnetic field here in the quantum dot, we can also have a spin filter. And uh, we can not only filter the energy, but also filter <coughs> the spin and have a sort of a heat uh, engine or refrigerator where we inject uh, one uh, uh, species of spin up or right that will move to the left or to the right in this uh, uh, helical edge states. So this is uh, the model in the quantum dot. We add uh, the effect of not only of the gate voltage, but also the magnetic uh, field. And we consider here the um, the um, a, a helical edge states uh, containing left and uh, right movers, assuming that they can be interacting. If they were not interacting, this k uh, will can be put uh, equal uh, to one, and a tunneling between uh, the uh, two systems. The um, as I mentioned before, the a translation between the bosons and the uh, fermions is given by uh, these uh, expressions and the, uh, in, in comparison to the previous case we have here the complication that we have not only left moving uh, bosons but also right uh, moving uh, ones. Um, the regimes we can have here are the following. We can have a spin heat engine in which we filter, for instance, the up spins or the down spins and use the uh, heat conversion in, uh, generated by the heat, um, sorry, the heat uh, current generated by this uh, difference of temperature between this reservoir and the uh, uh, spin uh, hole system uh, to convert uh, uh, electricity with a given spin uh, orientation. And uh, of course, we also have the reverse uh, mode in which we will have a, a refrigerator. Uh, from the point, uh, okay, from uh, the, the uh, theoretical treatment uh, is very similar as before. We, have, we will have here a uh, fluxes, uh, this, um, the charge and heat uh, fluxes for the two uh, up and down or left and right uh, uh, movers, uh, which re uh, respond uh, linearly uh, uh, with the uh, affinities, uh, which are again difference of chemical potential and difference uh, of temperature. We can proceed as before doing perturbation theory and we will have um, everything expressed for, uh, uh, in terms of this um, transmission uh, function, which depends again on the density of states of the quantum dot and also the density of states of the uh, uh, Latin chair uh, liquid. Um, the performance, if we want to analyze the performance for the, these machines, we have to uh, um, focus on the uh, charge with the given um, spin species. For this reason, I uh, define here uh, the, for the charge uh, flux um, the, this uh, minus uh, which if we are interested in the uh, charge with up spin will be the charge with up spin minus the charge with the down spins, one moving to the left, the other moving uh, to the right. And um, in a thermoelectric approach each of uh, the, and we have also the heat uh, flux which uh, has the two species of spin. 
And um, as I was saying in the thermoelectric uh, uh, approach, uh, we will have here uh, some uh, transport um, uh, coefficients. And these transport coefficients will be related to these up and down coefficients I defined um, I you defined uh, here this alpha has uh, an up and down I should have uh, clarified sorry um, and uh, what is interesting is that unlike a uh, usual uh, thermoelectricity uh, due to the fact that the this else spin dependent uh, else uh, satisfy uh, this on Sager uh, relations um, in, in, no, so these are not on Sagan relations. So the up uh, else um, are uh, connected with the uh, down um, else uh, by an inversion of the of the field. So this is in addition to the on Sagan relations. So we have this plus on Sagan relations, and the result is that this L12. Uh, is non-trivially related to this L21 entering here. So the thermoelectric uh, performance will not uh, be, um, uh, can in principle differ from the usual uh, thermoelectric uh, device. Uh, in any case, we can proceed as in the usual uh, thermoelectric uh, treatment and define a, a figure of merit which will be an, a combination of this uh, calligraphic L uh, satisfying <coughs> these uh, non-trivial uh, relations. And uh, so these are uh, some uh, results for the uh, transport uh, coefficient. So this is the coefficient which will be uh, related to the um, to the uh, charge effective charge uh, con uh, conductance um, and uh, for a fixed um, uh, value of the magnetic uh, field uh, this uh, coefficient will depend on the value of the gate voltage in particular if we have our, our gate voltage set in a way that we have the up spin of the quantum dot aligned with the uh, chemical with the mean chemical potential of the reservoirs we will inject in our edge states an up spin which will move to the left otherwise we can move the um, uh, the uh, the gate uh, voltage in a way that we have the spin down uh, state of the quantum dot aligned with the mean uh, chemical potential and we will inject a down spin which will move to the right in the uh, spin uh, hole uh, system. So this is the behavior of the of diagonal uh, coefficients but this is what we get uh, for the um, uh, figure of merit uh, in this case we get um, something which is um, in some sense uh, similar to the quantum uh, Hall effect. There are more structure because uh, of the fact that we have uh, the two different levels uh, associated to the two spins, but this system also uh, behaves in a way that uh, it, the performance is enhanced uh, when this uh, system is uh, interacting in relation to the uh, non-interacting uh, uh, case. So how much time do I have, Julia? Oh, okay. Again, the behavior can be traced back to the behavior of the, um, uh, of the density of states of the Latinger uh, a liquid which uh, goes uh, in as power law uh, of in, in, the, in the temperature and uh, we can also define a sort of factor of enhancement similar to the one um, we have uh, defined in the uh, quantum uh, hole effect uh, case. Uh, so to give an, an outlook 
of uh, what I um, uh, talked uh, about uh, so far. I gave some short introdu uh, introduction of uh, the f uh, nature of the physics of the edge states in the fractional uh, quantum uh, Hall effect. I uh, mentioned that they behave as uh, chiral uh, Latinger liquids. Due to this fact, the transport uh, coefficients in tunneling uh, contacts uh, are uh, suppressed. Uh, they follow power laws in uh, temperature. However, it's different the behavior for the charge and the uh, heat and the energy uh, channels. And for this reason, uh, we can have a non-trivial, uh, unfortunately, an enhancement of the thermoelectric uh, performance in the fractional quantum Hall effect. Uh, in the case of uh, quantum spill Hall effects, we have pairs uh, of helical uh, edge states, which also behave, are expected to behave as a Latin chair liquid. And in this case, we can have a similar uh, behavior re regarding the enhancement of the thermoelectric performance, but we can also play uh, with the manipulation of a spin, uh, introducing the effect of uh, uh, magnetic uh, fields. So I will use the last uh, few minutes in order to give you a very short uh, overview on, of another aspect of the um, uh, uh, interplay between um, uh, energy uh, and uh, charge. And this is uh, the case of um, uh, the, the basically the effects of dissipation of energy that takes place when we drive uh, a quantum dot uh, with some uh, time dependent uh, voltage. Um, and the, this uh, quantum dot is connected to some uh, reservoir. Um, the motivation of uh, these um, studies is, again, um, in, due to these uh, experiments, uh, also, um, again, uh, done in the quantum uh, hole effect, where uh, quantum dots are constructed and uh, coupled by tunneling uh, contacts to uh, reservoirs, to other uh, macroscopic um, uh, portions uh, of, the, uh, of the quantum uh, whole uh, sample. And uh, these quantum dots contain um, discrete uh, sets uh, of levels, and we can manipulate uh, by driving um, uh, here with a gate uh, voltage, we can <coughs> manipulate it in order, for instance, to inject uh, electrons. In this paper, this was a proposal for a quantum electron emitter. Um, and um, OK, I'm, I'm going to tell you um, which is the role of the um, uh, which is the behavior of the uh, dissipation uh, when the, in this quantum dot uh, there are uh, many body interactions and it is mm -hmm. driven adiabatically. This means that uh, the, the period of the driving is uh, much uh, longer than any uh, typical time scale uh, for uh, the electron dynamics inside the uh, quantum dot. Uh, but uh, non-linearly. Um, so, and uh, mm, what I would like to introduce first is, we, uh, is the treatment to deal with this uh, adiabatic uh, dynamic. This was uh, proposed in this uh, work. Uh, and it consists, is, uh, it is quite uh, general, in, it consists in the uh, the following procedure. Uh, let us consider our Hamiltonian, which depends on time through some uh, parameters um, that we call V, V1, V2, etc. And um, 
uh, let's proceed as in the in the philosophy of uh, cubo formalism, but performing in the evolution operator an expansion not in v, but in v dot. So in this way, we will have uh, the following the, comp the composition of the evolution operator. We will have a, a frozen uh, evolution the dictated by the uh, uh, Hamilton, the frozen Hamiltonian, and the evolution <coughs> will be considered as <coughs> if the uh, system were in equilibrium with the ham frozen Hamiltonian at a given time, plus some correction. And this correction um, is proportional to this uh, V dot, the rate of change of the, these uh, parameters uh, in time. What we have here is some generalized force, and what we have here is some uh, <coughs> generalized uh, velocity. Within this approximation, if we go to evaluate some uh, the, the mean value of any observable, we will have some frozen um, uh, component plus some correction proportional to V dot. And this uh, correction uh, is related to a frozen uh, susceptibility. And this uh, susceptibility is a cubo-like uh, susceptibility. However, what enters here is not exactly the susceptibility as in usual linear response, but this um, integral uh, complicated uh, transform of this uh, susceptibility. But this gives us, uh, anyway, a correction which involves the evaluation of the um, of, uh, quantities with the frozen Hamiltonian, which is an effectively equilibrium Hamiltonian. So we can use this uh, procedure um, and combine it with uh, methods which are good to calculate susceptibilities um, <coughs> in equilibrium uh, systems. And an example is the energy uh, method um, when for a quantum dot coupled to a reservoir uh, considering interactions within the condo uh, regime. Energy method uh, was also mentioned in the uh, uh, talk by uh, Jigal uh, Meyer, is uh, very uh, precise and um, um, to describe the condo physics in equilibrium. As our susceptibilities are evaluated with the frozen Hamiltonian in equilibrium, um, we can uh, get a, a very good description of the adiabatic uh, dynamics uh, of this uh, device. So um, I'm not uh, going to tell you all the results because I don't uh, have uh, time. I just wanted uh, to mention uh, this. And, um, and uh, just uh, to uh, finalize, we can in this way uh, describe um, the in parallel the charge uh, dynamics and the energy dynamics uh, in this system because the charge uh, dynamics uh, it can be evaluated using this uh, generalized uh, cubo uh, formalism and from there we can evaluate also the generated power and this generated power is heat which flows into uh, the, the reservoir. The result is that the system also with interactions behave as um, this is an, without interactions, but uh, with uh, also with interactions behave um, or dissipate uh, uh, energy in the form of a joule, a instantaneous uh, Joule law. We have the current uh, flowing between the driven quantum dot and uh, this, uh, the, the generated power, I mean the 
energy which is dissipated into the reservoir follows uh, this uh, Joule law where what enters here is the, uh, this uh, so-called Bütiker uh, universal uh, resistance. This is a result that we have previously obtained in non-interacting, that it was obtained in the linear uh, uh, response uh, regime by uh, Rosa, co-workers, Michele Filippone, which is uh, somewhere. Um, and uh, we can also prove that it holds um, in the uh, non-linear uh, uh, regime, uh, non-linear interacting regime. So, okay. I don't uh, have uh, more time, <laughs> so let me just uh, acknowledge uh, collaborators. Um, to uh, uh, some collaborators uh, from uh, Bariloche, uh, Argentina, Eduardo Fradkin from uh, Urbana, uh, Florencia here in the audience, Francesca Batista was a previous uh, postdoc, Javier Romero, previous postdoc, Mija, uh, Mija Moscaletz, David and Rosa from uh, Balears and uh, Felix uh, von Open uh, from Berlin and you, I would like to support the founding from Argentina and also from the Alexander von Humboldt uh, Foundation. So thanks a lot for your attention. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>